What's up guys? Welcome to another beautiful day here in Hawaii. I'm just out here socially distancing myself from everybody. So I thought this would be a good spot to come and check out a few new knives today. Before I do that, I just wanted to say thank you to all of the members of the knife community that have just been making knife videos. I mean, it's pretty clear what's going on in the world right now. You can't get away from it. It is every corner of the internet right now. It's all anybody's talking about, and I get that. But I wanted to say thanks to all the guys who are just making knife videos and trying to keep that sense of normalcy and just doing what they've always done. So thank you for that. For today, I have a couple new knives that I wanted to show you guys. And these are ones that, um, let's just say they were on my... B list of knives to check out from Tucson. Ones that, I don't know, I just assumed I would never like. Didn't really think they would be my style, but I finally got around to checking them out because the price was right. So, first one today, this is the TS-08 by Night Morning Design. Kind of an oddball little knife. And... It's always been interesting looking to me, but never one that I thought I was going to like. So, you know, I did finally get one for a good price. I think I paid under 50 bucks for this. So for titanium frame lock, their D2 steel blade, I mean, it's still a good deal. And even if I don't like it, I can always find somebody who does. That's kind of what I do with these if I don't think I'm going to keep it pass it on to somebody who likes it more than me so but when it finally came in I was actually a little surprised I do kind of like it it's more comfortable than I thought it was going to be it's got kind of a neat little grip to it it feels actually feels really good in this position maybe for draw cuts it would be real good so as like a utility type knife box opener or whatever it's not bad it is let me give you a length on this thing Overall, this guy, all the way to the lanyard point, is exactly six inches. So, not a big knife. This one comes in, I think, right at four ounces. So, kind of a neat little blade. It's got a very generous cutout for your thumb, so the closing on it is nice. It's got a good flipper, so it's got snappy little action. So, it's actually... Nicer than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. I, I really wasn't sure what to expect when I ordered it, but I kind of like it, actually. I think the only thing that would have made this knife even better and really would make it a great knife is if they would have put that big finger choil right here so you could actually grab and get a full grip on it here like this. I mean, that flipper tab is just perfectly designed to be able to go in front of it and if they put a nice finger choil there this would be a good little cutter I may try and modify it and, and open that up a little bit and cut that out I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep this one or not but I think that would give this a lot better grip but for what it is kind of a neat little blade so it's got a nice lanyard spot there, so if you do hold it in the regular grip and you put a lanyard at the bottom, it would actually give you something to hold on to there with your pinky. So I kind of like it, actually. It's it's different. It's not uh, not my typical style, but still, it was worth checking out, and I'm glad I did. You know, sometimes I am surprised by some of their stuff, so this is definitely one of them. So this is the TS-08 by Night Morning Design. And the second... Tucson knife that I wanted to show you guys. This is one that I have been actively avoiding since it came out. Since, really since I saw the first couple people make videos on this thing, I just knew it was going to be too small for my style. And, you know, the price when these first came out, I think these were going for around 150 bucks right out of the gate. So, you know, that alone was kind of keeping me from it. Now this, I'm pretty sure, is the first knife that Tucson ever put out with S90V blade so the hype around this one when it first came out was was pretty big and I know a lot of people like this one a lot I was actually really surprised when I got it it is a lot more fidget friendly than I thought it was going to be and I, I honestly I kind of like it 
I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. It is maybe the most fidget-friendly Tucson knife that I've ever had. This rounded flipper with the, you know, I don't think this is so much jimping as it is a knurled flipper tab. You know, if we get a machinist here, somebody can explain the difference to me on that one. But since the flipper is rounded, it just has a really nice fidgety type action to it. And the grip on this one, it doesn't feel too small in your hand. Even in the regular grip behind the flipper here, you're kind of, you know, pretty well locked into this thing. But what's nice about this one is since the flipper's rounded, you can actually grab up onto the flipper and get a full grip around it. And it feels really solid in hand. So, pretty neat little knife. This is one of the few Tucson knives that they did a stone wash on the blade rather than their satin finish. I do like that a lot. The carbon fiber on this is awesome. You know, this is actually one of their numbered models. I got number 391, so they are still numbering these. So, all in all, this one, I really like it. As far as a, you know, kind of a fun little knife to just sit there and fidget with. This one is really, really high up on the list of Tucson knives for fidgetability, if that's a word. But, unfortunately, this knife has one fatal flaw. And because of it, that will keep this knife out of my pocket. Maybe I'm just being a little overly paranoid, but the one thing that I noticed about this knife, and I think it's kind of dangerous. Let's see if I can get to focus there. You are looking right at the back of the blade right there. And I am touching the blade right now. I can feel it with the tip of my finger. It is, I mean, right at the backspacer. If I were to slide my finger, I would get a nasty slice right there. So that, to me, it's, it's a safety concern. Honestly, if this thing's sitting in your pocket and you reach into your pocket and your pinky finger slides in there, it's going to slice the side of your pinky pretty good. I mean... It's not even that you have to reach in there and you can feel it. It is right there at the edge. So I don't know if anybody else has had that same concern with this knife or if I'm just being, you know, overly paranoid, but I don't think I'm going to carry it for that reason. Um, other than that, everything else about this knife is awesome. But that, to me, is a concern. I think they could have, you know, either made the handle a little bit more rounded on the back or maybe close this in or brought the backspacer up or done something different it has such a big fat blade that they wanted to use the entire handle space and unfortunately it is it is just way too close for comfort for me so we're gonna focus anyway let me know what you guys think if you have this one is it something that's a concern to you? Have you ever sliced yourself on it? That to me, I just think is something that they overlooked and could have corrected a little bit, but I don't know, that makes me a little nervous. So other than that, the TS-128 really gets high marks for being a fun little knife to play with, but safety concern, I think they could have dealt with a little different. So that's that. So those are the two Tucson knives that I have today. And last one, as a bonus, this is something that I haven't had in a while. I think last year I had the Kershaw Agile, which is a Rick Hinder design, and that was probably the first Kershaw I've bought in probably 15 years. So it's just not a brand that I really get a lot of their stuff. I don't know, nothing, nothing wrong with them per se. I just, you know, don't really care for that speed safe assisted flipping action so much, but I saw this one listed on eBay and as you can see the box was damaged and because it was listed as damaged box this knife is only 19 bucks so this is the Kershaw scrambler and this is an RJ Martin design and the ones that he has designed I do really like the look of so I figured for the price I might as well get it and check it out and Wow, I was really, really impressed with this one actually. For being under 20 bucks, this is, I mean, just a 
perfect budget EDC knife in my opinion. It is nice opening. It's got a good design on the flipper. It's got a nice pass through for your thumb right there. Really good looking knife. You know, it is a steel frame. This bolster here, they have a nice finish on it, so it almost looks like titanium, but this is steel. And it just, it's a good looking knife. Overall, this, this really fits my personal style and design. So, I like this one a lot, actually. This guy is... Lengthwise, we're looking at... 8 inches, exactly. And about 5 and a half ounces. So, it's not a light knife, which I like. It feels substantial in your hand. It's got a really nice grip to it. I think this is one that I can carry, and I probably will, which is saying a lot. You know, I don't change knives very often. When I find one that I like, I usually stick with it until it's dead. But this is definitely a knife that I can, I can totally say I would put in my pocket. The clip on it is really not that bad. You know, it sticks out just a little bit from the pocket, but that doesn't bother me so much. I don't need a knife to be all the way deep up to the end, as long as it's, you know, not sticking way out of your pocket. So this one is not bad at all. I like that it has a lanyard point on it, so I can throw a lanyard in and get it out of the pocket easy. It does have this, I think they call it their titanium nitride coating, which is fairly smooth. It's, it doesn't have a lot of texture to it, so it's not going to affect the, the slicing ability. This thing did come pretty wicked sharp, you know, I was impressed at how they, they finished it off. So the fit and finish on this knife is, you know, for 20 bucks, I could not believe how much I actually like this one. So, there's one other Kershaw, I think it's the Kershaw Volt, that's another RJ Martin design that I wanted to check out also. I think that's a good looking knife. So that one is probably on my list at some point here, but I, you know, when I saw the price on this being brand new for 19 bucks, I mean, I just couldn't pass it up, and I'm glad I got it. It is absolutely a great knife. You know, it's got really comfortable ergonomics to it. So... That's my new budget knife for today, but those are the three that I wanted to show you. Try and keep this video short here, but I hope everybody is doing what they can and uh, enjoying the time that they have and spending it with family and, you know, stay safe out there, guys, but hope to see you at the next video. Thanks.